I had reached a really low point due to the increasing amount of pain I was in because of the HS lesions, which were gaining momentum and destroying the most intimate parts of my body. I didn't know how to cope with this pain. I thought I was a good person, and I knew I didn't deserve this. One night, I was crying in the bathtub. During a moment of reflection, I heard my inner voice whisper to me, just start loving yourself. I tracked my journey to self-love through social media and even wrote a book. Despite the physical pain I was still in, I became the happiest I had ever been. I truly believed I was going to heal my physical wounds by learning how to love myself. And that is how I ended up in the psych ward, diagnosed with psychosis. Once on meds, I went into a very dark place. Not only did my HS continue to get worse, I felt a complete loss of identity. Simple tasks like getting in and out of bed and even dressing myself became tasks that took every ounce of energy I could muster. I had begun thinking about suicide because the physical, mental, and emotional pain from HS was taking over my life. I figured I would just leave behind a picture of my groin, which has been mutilated by this disease, so everyone would understand why I did it. I started researching medical-assisted suicide and mentioned it to my psychiatrist. She told me not to give up just yet, and I began therapy. One night last summer, I was recovering from a surgery I'd had related to my HS. I knew recovery was going to be hard to get through, so I laid with my mom on my bed and cried to her about how I didn't want to live anymore. The next day, the sun rose again. My mom reached out to my close friends to tell them about the turmoil I was in, as they did not know the extent of it. Their support was life-changing. So, acceptance. It took a long time for me to get here, but that's where I am right now. I finally learned that it's not about what you deserve. It's about what you can handle as you journey through this life, as you build strength and courage so that your inner spirit feels at peace with whatever comes your way. I'm a proven fighter. I'm a warrior, and these are my warrior wounds.